Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bone Tech. In today's video, we're going to be testing out the new dual pixel autofocus 2 system found on the brand new Canon EOS R6. So in this video, we're really going to be stress testing this camera because we're going to shoot at some fast apertures like f4 all the way to f1.8 and we're going to be shooting them at longer focal lengths of around 100 millimeters to 200 millimeters and we're also going to test out the eye tracking autofocus on this camera. Okay, so here's a quick little demonstration of how Canon's do pixel autofocusing 2 works on the camera. This is what you actually see in the bottom right corner. You can see me tapping on it and it snaps to focus almost immediately. It is just so fast and so accurate. Here we're actually tracking this little old Kodak uh, Instamatic camera. And as you guys can see, it's pulling the focus and it's just tracking it very, very well. Uh, it's honestly incredible how advanced this is because this isn't even somebody's face. It's just the object and it's still able to uh, track that object after just tapping on it with the touchscreen and doing a very good job of keeping everything at focus. And as you guys can see there, I'm at F4 and the lens is zoomed into about 85 millimeters. But overall, I am so impressed with Dew Pixel Autofocusing 2. It's really next level and honestly a game changer. Okay, so the first lens we're going to test out the R6's autofocusing capability with is of course its kit lens. It is a RF 24 to 105 millimeter f4l lens and right now we are zoomed in all the way to 105 millimeters shooting wide open at f4 so hopefully the camera is doing a good job of keeping me in focus i'm going to kind of move around here and kind of back up and i'm also going to walk closer to the camera very slowly and see how it progressively tracks me as i get closer to the camera and i'm going to go ahead and walk a little bit more backwards to see how it does Okay, so the next lens that we are filming with is the classic Canon 85mm f1.8 lens. This is a beautiful portrait lens, and as you guys can see, we have a really nice looking bokeh because we're shooting wide open at f1.8. Right now, it's doing a decent job from what I can see of keeping my face in focus, but I am going to take a couple steps closer to the camera and see how it does. But now I'm going to go ahead and take a couple steps backwards to see how good of a job the camera does at tracking me with the autofocusing system. So our focal length here is 85 millimeters and our aperture is f1.8 which is extremely wide and in theory very hard for a camera to focus okay so now we're filming with the canon ef 50 millimeter f1.8 stm lens we are shooting this wide open at f1.8 so i'm going to get a little bit closer to the camera and see how it does at keeping my eye in focus and then i'm going to go ahead and take a couple steps backwards to again see how it does with tracking my face right now from what i can see in the viewfinder again it looks pretty good but we'll definitely have to leave that up to you and see what you guys think about the canon r6's ability to autofocus on my face correctly even using a cheap little 100 dollars 50 millimeter canon lens Okay, so the next lens that we are filming with should be the R6's hardest challenge yet. It is a old Canon 70 to 200 millimeter f4L lens. So right now I'm very far away from the camera and we are zoomed in all the way to 200 millimeters using a f4 aperture. So this should be very hard for the camera to keep me in focus because one, it's an old lens and two is we're at 200 millimeters at f4. So it's very shallow and should make everything nice and blurry behind me. But hopefully I'm in focus. I don't know. I can't really see because the camera is so far away. I am I'm going to walk slowly towards the camera to see how it does at tracking my face. Hopefully it's doing a good job, but again, I can't tell. So you guys are going to have to let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and walk back here a little bit and see how it performs as I walk back very far away from the camera. Well, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button because you don't want to miss any new videos that are released to this YouTube channel just like this one. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.